Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. In a very exciting news, OpenAI is in the process of releasing their brand new models and interestingly enough, they have changed the name. From GPT to now, they are calling these new models as OpenAI. So the new models are now OpenAI O1 Preview and not GPT O1 Preview unlike their predecessors. I believe it's just because they want to move away from the generic name GPT and onto a name they own the trademark for. GPT was ruled non-trademarkable last year and that was really quite a blow for OpenAI. Basically the thing is that you cannot trademark a name which is descriptive of your product. For example, uh, Apple computers can, can be trademarked but Apple fruit cannot. GPT being generative pre-trained transformer applies to all LLMs. Also, as we know that OpenAI is not really that open. They won't release a paper like they did for GPT-1 or GPT-2. So we will probably never be able to know what exactly has gone into these papers, uh, these new models, how they were trained, what sort of technology was used. And of course, there is no way we would be able to get our, get our hands on their data set. I think O in this new model stands for Orion, but I might be wrong. <clears throat> and similarly, um, some people have been asking me why I haven't done a video on strawberry because the thing is that we really don't know what strawberry is. It is all rumors and stuff and I don't work on rumors. So these are a new series of AI models designed to spend more time thinking before they respond. That sounds like recently released Reflection 70 billion and I already have done videos on it where we have installed it locally and played it around with it. So OpenAI's new models can reason through complex tasks and solve harder problems than previous models in science, coding and maths. As part of developing these new models, they have also come up with a new safety training approach that harnesses their reasoning capabilities to make them adhere to safety and alignment guidelines. Being able to reason about their safety rules in context, it can apply them more effectively. For instance, they have released a safety system card for this. And if you go through it, these are the key areas of evaluation they have done. And then they have also provided us a preparedness score. Uh, so in this uh, preparedness, for example, the CBRN stands for chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear threats which pose serious risk to human health and global security. Um, the field of CBRN primarily aims to understand, prepare for and mitigate these threats. And similarly, cybersecurity persuasion is also there. They have also released uh, some of the scorecard ratings, which is quite impressive as was expected. Now, as far as usage is concerned, as I said, this is still being rolled out. I have checked it in ChatGPT Plus and in my uh, playground but unfortunately I was not able to run it because it is still not available in Australia as you know that I'm based in Sydney Australia so I think it is still in the process of rollout uh, I have also checked with a couple of people in Europe they also haven't got access to it but it is uh, being rolled out very rapidly I'm more than sure that within an hours people would start getting access if they haven't so for now, I think you can only access it in your chat GPT plus and in teams. And I don't think so API access is still available in most of the cases. Anyway, so once I have the access here, I will also make another video and we will test it out on various benchmarks. But I think we all know that the model will be of good quality. There is no doubt about that. Um, this is one thing. I mean, we have to be fair that the models they always produce, they are always quite good so coming back to this model as i said that only chat gpt plus and teams users will be able to access o1 models in chat gpt starting today both o1 preview and o1 mini can be selected manually in the model picker if you have the access and the thing is that at launch weekly rate limits will be 30 messages for o1 preview and 50 for o1 mini yes you have heard it right just 30 messages for O1 preview. Also, they are working to increase those rates and enable ChatGPT to automatically choose the right model for a given prompt. So, I mean, I'm a bit 
फिफ्टी फिफ्टी ऑन दिस दैट इफ़ यू गिव अ प्रॉम्प्ट ओपन ए आई विल डिसाइड विच मॉडल टू यूज यू इवन इफ यू सेलेक्ट इट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर आस्किंग टू प्लस टू इट इज़ गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट द चीपर मॉडल इन स्टेट इवन इफ यू हैव सेलेक्टेड द एक्सपेंसिव मॉडल विच इन सेंस इज़ द राइट थिंग टू डू बट फॉर सम पीपल आई थिंक दिस इज़ गोइंग टू पुट दम ऑफ बिकॉज सम पीपल लाइक टू बिन कंट्रोल वर्ट दे आर यूजिंग फॉर स्पेशली वेन इट कम्स टू सीमिंगली सिंपल बट कम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम सो दैट इज़ वेर इट माइट माइट मेक मिस्टेक सो आई वुड लीव द डिसीजन टू यू दैट वेदर यू think that it's a good idea on part of open ai to select the models for you given your prompt or you would rather select it yourself but remember that for some people uh, they are quite okay to know which questions will require more reasoning ability but this is okay for most of the use cases where you don't want to burn through credit for simple tasks and these models are expensive quite expensive another interesting bit which i found out sifting through their uh, social media posts and other avenues is that they are also making sure that other people cannot train on their output with so what they have said that they have believed that a hidden chain of thought presents a unique opportunity for monitoring models therefore after weighing multiple factors including user experience competitive advantage and the option to pursue the chain of thought monitoring they have decided not to show the raw chains of thought to the user so you cannot train your own model very very clever but i think it is not uh, they should change the name from open ai to something else i believe also in their test the next model update performs similarly to phd students on challenging benchmark ta- tasks in physics chemistry and biology as you can see on your screen they've also found out that it excels in math and coding in a qualifying exam for the international mathematics olympiad or imo gpt4 o correctly solved only 13% of the problems while the reasoning model this new one scored 83% their coding abilities were evaluated in con- contests and reached the 89th percentile in code forces competitions and they have released um, a thorough uh, card and you know Uh, blog post where you can read more now the limits in chat gpt are pretty insane in my opinion it's only 30 messages per week and even the mini version is limited to 50 messages a week and these output tokens must be i think costing them a lot very fast so i think that probably also gives a hint why do what we see a big gpt5 model for but 20 dollar a month for a long time in chat gpt plus because it is going to burn through a lot of token because of chain of thought and if you have worked with chain of thought you know that how expensive it could be because it goes through lots of hops but anyway pretty interesting as i said as soon as it gets rolled out here in my geographical location i am going to make another video but if you are already using it please share it your experience very keen to know about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching